The common complication of cholelithiasis is acute cholecystitis, and this is caused by gallstones injuring the gallbladder mucosa or occluding the cystic duct through which the bile drains out of the gallbladder. The gallbladder may become infected with bowel commensals, usually E. coli. Sometimes, however, in critically ill patients, acute cholecystitis can occur without gallstones. Serious complications of acute cholecystitis include perforation of the gallbladder and biliary peritonitis and empyema of gallbladder. This is the gross appearance of acute cholecystitis. The gallbladder wall is inflamed and the bile is purulent. This is a serious complication of acute cholecystitis and the gallbladder wall has ruptured due to a gallstone and this results in biliary peritonitis where the peritoneum and surface of the liver become coated by the yellowish bile. Chronic cholecystitis is usually caused by gallstones and may follow acute cholecystitis. The gallbladder shows characteristic features including fibrosis of the gallbladder wall with or without chronic inflammation. The muscle of the gallbladder wall becomes hypertrophied or thickened and there may be outpouchings of the mucosa into the wall of the gallbladder called rokitansky ashoff sinuses and these are diverticular. Eventually a mucosal may occur where the gallbladder becomes distended by mucus. Another thing that may occur is that the gallbladder wall may become calcified sometimes to such an extent that the gallbladder is known as a porcelain gallbladder. This gallbladder shows features of chronic cholecystitis. The gallbladder wall is thickened due to fibrosis and hypertrophy of the smooth muscle. Histologically in chronic cholecystitis you can see a chronic inflammatory infiltrate, an obviously thickened smooth muscle layer due to hypertrophy and fibrosis and in addition there are these Rokitansky Ashoff sinuses where the mucosa bulges into the wall of the gallbladder. This gallbladder shows features of cholesterolosis, commonly referred to as strawberry gallbladder. This is because of the yellow speckled appearance due to the lamina propria being infiltrated by cholesterol laden macrophages. Cholesterolosis is associated with the presence of cholesterol stones and in fact has the same etiology as cholesterol gallstones um, and this is due to decreased solubility of cholesterol in bile. Cholesterolosis of the gallbladder has no clinical importance. This is another example of cholesterolosis of the gallbladder. The mucosa is deep red and there is a yellow speckled appearance due to cholesterol laden macrophages in the lamina propria giving the lining of the gallbladder an appearance similar to that of a strawberry hence the term strawberry gallbladder.